we're going to look at your navigation and presentation tools within Active Inspire. Now if you've used Active Studio or Active Primary in the past, many of these tools are similar, but Active Inspire has made it a lot easier to embed those tools into your flip charts. So the first thing we're going to look at is just your basic flipping from page to page and organizing your flip chart. Now if we go to our resource browser, we're going to go over to our action tab or action browser. Now you see within this you have a bunch of icons and you can just drag and drop these icons onto your page. Now that action will be built into your page. So you'll see as far as navigation goes we can insert the next page, the previous page, or if you look down here your first page or your last page. And you'll see why this is useful in a minute. So let's go ahead and see how it works. So when we click on our next page, you'll see that our action is already embedded and it's going to take us immediately to our next page. Now you can still use your toolbar icons here to go from page to page. So now that we've successfully navigated to the next page, I want to introduce you to a presentation tool. So if you've used Active Studio or Active Primary, we've seen the Spotlight tool before. Active Inspire has made it a little bit easier to edit and a little bit easier to get to. So if we go to our tools, we go to Spotlight, you'll see that we have an option for a circular spotlight, a square spotlight, or the reverse of both. So we're going to start with our circular spotlight. And you'll see that I would have students come up to the board with the picture and try to figure out what's going on in the picture, what the picture was, or what is the significance of what they can see when they move the spotlight around. You can see that we can edit our spotlight. We can make it bigger by grabbing the outside or make it smaller. And if we click on this little notepad up here, we can change it to the square or to the reverse circle, the reverse square. Or we can take a snapshot of what we can see, and it'll make a copy of that snapshot on our page. So let's go ahead and we're going to navigate to our next page. We're going to look at one more presentation tool. We're going to turn the spotlight off. And we're going to go to our tools, and we're going to go to our revealer tool. Now with the revealer, this is great for when you're only chunking the kids material, you're giving them sections of what they want to do, you're giving them notes, you're giving them an organizer where they only want to see part of it at a time. You can use this and only reveal part of the screen. And if you go back up to the top, you can go from left to right. Or we can go from right to left. And we can set this to come up on this particular page. So let's get rid of our revealer. And you'll see, as I've put here, just like our next page and previous page, we can embed the revealer action into our page. So when we click on this, and you'll see that our revealer is instantly up on our page. This works great if you just want to use the revealer for one particular page in your lesson, but not for the others. So if we close our revealer. The last thing that I want to show you is using that first and last page option. So just like we dragged in our next page and our previous page, we can drag in first page and last page. Now if we drag in our first page, this works great because many times you put your objective, you put your agenda, you put your warm up, you put your homework on that first page. And so at the end of your lesson, you may want to revert back to that objective or revert back to that agenda or homework or somewhere else in your lesson. So we can just drag and drop that in and when we click on that you'll see that we are back to the first page of our lesson. Lastly if we go up here to our page organizer or page browser at the top left you'll see that we have all of our pages and they're all in order. Now this is great for if you want to reorder your page or you want to flip back to a particular page in the lesson. So if we wanted to go back and look at our picture, we wanted to go back and look at our organizer, or we wanted to go back to that first page, or you can grab these pages and you can reorder them in your lesson. So if you wanted them in a different order for the next class, or you wanted them to reorder for a review, you can go ahead and do that. 
I hope today we've learned a little bit more about navigating and presenting our flip charts.